Space junk is becoming a growing issue as more satellites are put into orbit. But US startup Privateer Space is hoping to help solve the problem with an AI-driven system that tracks, records and monitors the enormous volume of space junk. The startup says it can warn satellite operators before a collision which could create even more debris. I think this becomes critical and increasingly more critical as we put more and more assets into space. Privateer's platform, called Wayfinder, uses data from various sources and satellite operators, including the US Space Command. It is already tracking more than 35,000 objects in orbit. Declan Lynch is Chief Revenue Officer at Privateer. To be able to track that many objects and be able to plan and predict where their orbits will be over the next 24, 48 and 72 hours requires a lot of data and a lot of computational power. And we're able to leverage the power of AI to do that in a fraction of the time that it previously took humans to do. This count only includes objects larger than a few inches or 10 centimeters to be exact. Privateer estimates space debris bigger than a millimeter to be closer to 100 million. Space junk is mainly composed of defunct satellites, spent rocket stages and fragments from disintegration and collision events. The debris can orbit Earth at speeds of 17,000 miles per hour, and this can pose a significant threat to the International Space Station and operational satellites, many of which are crucial to modern systems on Earth, like communications. As we put more objects into space, uh, you know, we're going to be crowding our orbital highways. And we, we very much believe that our stewardship of, of space, or of Earth, doesn't just end in our atmosphere. Right? It extends into all the stuff that we're putting into space ourselves. Privateer aims to make its artificial intelligence tracking data available to satellite operators, international space agencies and scientific communities around the world. Space domain awareness is still you know, something that many governments are trying to understand. Um, and operators that are putting satellites into orbit at various scales definitely need this capability themselves. This is our ability to visualize that so that operators, satellite operators, have the ability to make a decision either to uh, avoid the collision if they can, um, but this is our ability to do this and using AI to plan and predict that at, at scale.